electric skillet. I think we're going to meet Lorraine, uh, chef's beautiful mom. I forgot her nickname. Everybody in Australia has nicknames. I have a lot of nicknames. Some of them are not ready for prime time, so I won't share all of them here with you. But my nickname for this is you got to get it. You got to have it. If you grew up with an electric skillet like I did, this is not your mama's electric skillet anymore, although it is Chef Curtis Stone's mom vetted and approved. Why? Because it has thermostatic control. It's the lowest price in history. Do you know, and I challenge you, search the Google machine. You could not find a beautiful seal, seared tempered glass cook and look lid with that little venting mechanism for that price. I'm serious. I've gone to those specialty websites. The lid would and could cost you $34.99. Do you know this is better than a today's special price? It's better than like a half off sale. I bought mine at close to that HSN price. It has a deep reservoir. It's six and a half quarts. I'll tell you right now, you would spend more than $34.99 for a six and a half quart Durapan stock pot from Chef. But then this is electric. So it has the elevated legs. It has the Durapan coating. So remember that is exclusive number one brand nonstick. So save for, you know, your, your metal utensils. It is genius. There's that white. We've got two blues. This is your slate blue. There's your turquoise. We have black, we have gray, and then we have red. And then I'll show you where it really gets exciting. There is an elevated rack. So by the way, whether you're doing tempura, whether you're, you know, roasting a chicken, well, they're frying a chicken for uh, that matter. You can do all of that. And then, I think this got over here. Um, and I just wanna make sure this actually goes with this, correct? Okay, so this is actually the divider. There's a divider that comes with this. And the reason I was just double checking is normally with pieces like this, we, we give you an item number and you buy them separately. We're not doing that today. This Durapan coated divider means you could do fish and chips. You could do chicken breast and vegetables. You can do pasta bolognese and you know, then you can do stir fry on the other side. It doesn't matter. So that's included full thermostatic control. And then of course the recipe booklet as well. I gotta get it value. Chef, I'm telling you, I lost my mind when I saw you do this with Marlo earlier because I grew up like you did, and I know we met your mom earlier, with an electric skillet. Now this had to pass uh, mom's muster in order for you to do this, didn't it? Mm -hmm. It sure did, and you know what, mom is, uh, she suffers no falls, my mom. I'm gonna bring her out in a minute. She's here in the studio with me, but she's a wonderful cook, and she used to cook virtually every meal. She was a single mum, she was a hard worker, and every single night, Luke and I would come home and she'd have a beautiful dinner on the table. And she did it in an electric fry pan. So when I thought about it, I was thinking about her and I was thinking about the way she used to cook, and I thought to myself, I wonder whether I could take one of those old rapid skillets or electric skillets and turn it into something wonderful with a Durapan. So that's why this is different than any other one you've ever seen in your life because of that Durapan. So you see what I'm doing here? I'm just sauteing some veg. So from breakfast to lunch to dinner, look at this. I throw my eggs in here. I've just seasoned that with a little bit of salt and pepper. I'll let it sit there for just a moment, but absolutely nothing, and I mean nothing, is gonna stick to this skillet. Even if I throw in a big old handful of cheese, which I will in a moment. So you don't need to use it with the divider, and that's an important thing, because some of them, if you put the divider in and you have to live with that that means you know half of you you're basically down to half the size pan but when you want to put the divider in you can it just slides straight on in like that it's got a silicon foot on the bottom so I'm doing my veggies on one side and I'm cooking these beautiful pork ribeyes on the other by the way my pork ribeyes are back in stock we will be airing them later and here they are right here they're absolutely gorgeous uh, pork ribeyes so whether you're doing dinner which is basically a big saute I've got some of these gorgeous burgers burgers um, in over here. I'm going to use my new utensil, flip these gorgeous burgers. And of course, the great part here is I'm able to throw handfuls of cheese knowing that even if something sticks to any other pan, it will not stick to mine. Look how many burgers I could have fit in there, by the way. Such a big capacity. We're talking 14 inches from one side to the other. Have a look at that. My cheese goes on top. This cheese is gonna melt, of course, because we have the gorgeous lid. Now, I do have another uh, wonderful 
thing that you've all got to check out, it is my lid rest. So even a big 14-inch lid like this fits perfectly there in my lid rest. Once I've flipped my burgers and I've got my cheese on, I drop the lid on, and that's going to help it melt, Shannon. I know you've got one of these at home, Shannon. What do you think? What's your favorite are, are thing Are you kidding? Not only do I have one at, at home, I, I sent one to my mom so that I would have one to use yeah. when I went home to see her in, in Minnesota. Plus, you know, I love my mom, and you know what a super fan she is of you, Chef. My mom still yeah. has, I should have taken awesome. a picture of it that I call it the skillet of shame where, you know, it, it, it wasn't pepper that was going in the scrambled eggs, you know, but she used it for years. You know, one of the little legs is all tippy and everything else. You, you got to try this pan. I'm just telling you, because not only can you pop popcorn and sear and, you know, you can fry chicken in this. This would be the best deep fryer or shallow pan frying in the world. You can do lo mein. You can use it as a warmer. You've got the roasting rack. You've got that divider that you can use or not. The thermostatic control, that pr uh, probe is removable of course, and it, you've got all the settings from low, medium, and high, and incidentally, there's a little cheat sheet in your manual, so all the way up to 450 degrees on that little cheat sheet, but I'm telling you, Chef, I do everything in this pan. This is your kitchen. This is your kitchen. Oh, yeah. It, and chef, that's it just is. it. No, okay, so what are you doing in Australia there? I'm, I'm trying to see what's going oh, on. Look, I've got my little wine opener kit. This is my beautiful um, new wine opener kit. And I've got my lovely Chardonnay. If you haven't tried my Chardonnay, you guys, it is available. You can happily cook with this wine because you're paying 10 bucks 30 a bottle for it. But it's a $30 bottle of wine. Wait until you see what I'm going to do with that. But look at this, Shannon. I lift my lid. I'm gonna take these cheeseburgers out of the pan. Now, of course, I'm talking about the cleanup being a breeze, right? Wait until you see how simple it is, because look at the pan. I mean, the pan's a disaster, right? It's full of melted cheese, it's full of all the fat that's been rendering down. Well, it would be a disaster if it didn't have the Dura pan, but look at it, it literally wipes clean in just... One of the cameramen just came up to me just before we started, he's like, oh, mate, my wife wants one of these, I've been watching, and I tell you what, when you get this home, it works just as well as you see it on television, and it's pretty cool. Now, the heat will retain, watch this, look at that wine go in and you see straight away, you get that lovely, um, that lovely bubble. Now, you're getting this steamer rack. It's not an additional purchase. If you want, if you want, you can steam on it and you can also roast on it. And then you can also, if you like, get one of these steamer inserts and go ahead and drop that steamer insert straight onto the top there. You go ahead now. So I'm doing some, I'm doing broccolini. In the same pan I was just